Why do we say that recipe management, high-speed sorting, track and trace, and certain applications are described as complex data movement? And why is it such a burden for PLCs? By contrast, simple data movement would be like storing a trend parameter. For example, the parameter is temperature, the value is 300 degrees, and the timestamp is now. That's about as simple as it gets. PLCs are great with handling simple data. Complex data has an additional component. Think of complex data as simple data, but with context. This is what I mean. Imagine you're making an automotive part like a wheel. Let's say the wheel is type truck wheel with parameters like size, color, where to drill the holes, thread size, shapes cut into the wheel, and a thousand other parameters that describe how that wheel will be made. This is called the recipe, and all of this depends on the production cell the part just scanned into. That is, it has context. If a customer places an order for a different wheel, then a new recipe is required across the production cells. New part, new parameters, new operator, new blades, different context. If you manufacture 10 different wheels, you're going to need 10 different recipes. If you store 10 recipes in your PLC times a thousand hard-coded parameters for each recipe, it starts to get pretty sizable. In a PLC, memory, storage, performance come at a premium. PLCs are great at logic, so maybe there's a way we can use logic and remove the burden of storing all this information from the PLC. As it turns out, there's a way to architect the solution and you can use systems you already have in your plant to take the burden off your PLC and achieve a powerful synergy called OT to IT convergence. Let's talk about the second point, the SQL database.